Welcome to N1 Electrical Trade Theory. This is the final chapter in the textbook, chapter 10, which is on electronics. Please remember to hit that subscribe button in support of this channel. Let's take an example of a four band resistor. The first band being the first digit, the second band being the second digit, the third band being the number of zeros or the multiplier, and the fourth band representing the tolerance of this resistor. If we use our color coding chart, when we, we put those numbers into sequence and the colors into sequence, zero would be black, one would be brown, two red, three orange, four yellow, five green, six blue, seven violet, eight gray, and nine white. Now to help myself remember the sequence of these colors, I use a memory term and it goes as follows. Bad boys rave over young girls but violet gazes willingly. To understand this, let's do an example. A resistor with the following color code was found. Blue, red, yellow, and gold. Determine the value of the resistor. So first, let's write down those colors. We've got blue, red, yellow, and gold. Blue would be six. Red would be two. Yellow being four and the number of zeros. And gold being the tolerance of 5%. That would give us 62 and four zeros and 5%. And that is the same as 620,000 ohms for the tolerance of 5%. Let's simplify this further. If we divide by 1,000 or multiply by 10 to the minus three, we would end up with 620 kilo ohms with a tolerance of 5%. Let's have a look at one more example. A resistor with the following color code was found orange, 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 and silver. Let's write down those colors in that sequence. Orange being the first digit, and orange again for the second digit, and the third orange representing the number of zeros, and silver being the tolerance. So orange is, is represented by the number three, so we're gonna have three, three, and three zeros, and a tolerance of 10%. That would give us 33,000 ohms, for the tolerance of 10%, if we simplify this further, if we divide by 1,000 or multiply by 10 to the minus three, we would end up with a 33 kilo ohm resistor and a tolerance of 10%. Let's have a look at some definitions of electronic components. What is a semiconductor? A semiconductor may act either as a conductor or as an insulator. We get P-type and n-type semiconductors. An n-type semiconductor has a free electron to donate and is known as a donor atom. A p-type material, it has one bond which is incomplete and thus will create a free hole which is ready to accept and is a known as a acceptor. When p-type and n-type is joined together, we end up with something called the depletion region. How a diode operates, a diode will conduct current in forward bias and block current when it's in reverse bias. A xenodiode is a highly doped silicon diode which operates in reverse bias. The xenodiode will regulate the voltage so that output remains constant. Yeah, we have a zeno voltage regulator and this means that the output voltage will be the same as the zeno voltage and we would end up with a constant DC output. All right, some examples of capacitors. When capacitors are connected in parallel, the formula is similar to that of resistors connected in series. So to look at our first example of capacitors, we have three capacitors of nine microfarad, 12 microfarad, and 10 microfarad, and they're all connected in parallel. Determine the total capacitance of this parallel connection. Now, capacitors in parallel, the formula is similar to resistors in series. So it's gonna be the total capacitance is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. It is nine microfarad plus 12 microfarad plus 10 microfarad. And that gives us a total of 31 microfarad. Let's look at how capacitors behave when connected in series. Capacitors connected in series, the formula is similar to resistors in parallel. Let's do the same values, but now connected in series. Three capacitors of nine microfarad, 12 microfarad, and 10 microfarad are connected in series. Determine the total capacitance of the series circuit. 
So the formula will be very similar to that of resistors in parallel. 1 over CT is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. The capacitor number 1 is, is 9, so it's going to be 1 over 9 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 10. And that would give us 0.294. To calculate the total capacitance, if we invert that value, we'll get a total of 3,4 microfarad.